The BR3X is a programmable three relay logic module with 13 functions. This video will cover how to program function 22. The BR3X offers one wet and four dry inputs, three relay outputs, and AC-DC power. To configure the wet dry settings and AC-DC power, adjust the jumper positions. Refer to the BR3X user's guide for specific wiring and setup requirements based on the desired function in use. Function 22, the two relay sequencer plus inhibitor function, provides the ability to sequence two relays to unlock a door, then open it, while also providing approach side sensor inhibit at door close. This allows the use of sensors on low energy doors. Upon initial power-up, or if you wish to change the set function, press and hold both push buttons for 3 seconds. Once released, this will activate the display, which will now toggle between FF and 00 for 5 seconds. Press the increment button to cycle through the functions. Stop once the display flashes the desired function. Once you have selected your desired function, set the parameters for that function. Press the parameter button to cycle through each available parameter. Function 22 has three parameters, H1, H2, and D1. H1 defines relay one hold time. To set H1, press the increment button to select the parameter's value. H1 has values 00 through 60 available, representing the number of seconds for hold time. To save the configuration, allow the display to become inactive. H2 defines relay two hold time. To set H2, press the increment button to select the parameter's value. H2 has values 00 through 60 available, again representing the number of seconds for hold time. To save the configuration, allow the display to become inactive. D1 defines the delay between relays 1 and 2. To set D1, press the increment button to select the parameter's value. D1 has values underscore 1, underscore 2, and underscore 3 available, representing a quarter, half, and three-quarter second delay times. D1 also has values 00 through 60 available. To save the configuration, allow the display to become inactive. Note that H1 must be greater than D1 when using an electric lock. Once programming is complete, test the BR3X.